All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dallas Geek. Uh, as always, I'm Brad. I would say that's Mike, but Mike was not able to be here today, so you getting me. How you doing? <laughs> uh, but seriously, though, uh, thank you for joining us if you are today on this lovely Thursday, or as we like to think of it here, uh, the day before Fan Expo Dallas, for the first time in uh, about a year and a half now. So, uh, for us, this is awesome. Uh, this is almost a holiday, but uh, not quite. But almost. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, and uh, thank you if it is, uh, always have to be able to do the necessary shilling. So, uh, if you have not already, please be sure to like and subscribe over, uh, like, subscribe, and, uh, hit the alert bell over on, uh, YouTube to be able to ensure that you get all of the necessary, uh, updates, new videos, all the good things, uh, over there. And, of course, uh, you can always make sure to, okay, if I can get this right, there it is, um, you can always make sure to like and follow over on Facebook, because that is where we have a wonderful community, uh, getting together to have a conversation about all of the nerdy things that we like to talk about, uh, and of course, all of the nerdy things that we cover. And if that is, uh, if this is the kind of content that you like, but you don't always have time for the videos, you can be sure to go check out the audio of all of our interviews, uh, live shows, and now audio-exclusive podcasts over on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and Stitcher. Because reasons. But, uh... Seriously, though, uh, we do release a new audio-exclusive podcast every Thursday, uh, so you can be sure to go check that out, and uh, just be aware, uh, that is the, um, we'll say, less-than-family-friendly uh, version of our content, so if you have no problem with uh, some, we'll say fairly, coarse language from time to time, uh, go for it. We'll, but that is absolutely where we're going to be nerding out about some of the uh, craziest and most random uh, arguments that we've had, uh, and th we definitely go down the rabbit hole over there. So, uh, <laughs> with that, uh, thank you so much uh, again for coming to check us out. Ah, uh, yes, Aaron, absolutely feeding the algorithm. That is 100% uh, true. <laughs> Uh, so, for those of you who did not get, uh, the idea of what this video is going to be from the video title, uh, the description, or pretty much any other context clues, like, I don't know, the, the big, bold logo in our weekend about our favorite things to recommend, uh, that you go check out. So, if you, if you absolutely need to be able to, uh, get through the crowds, get through the chaos, and get straight to the best parts, we're gonna be talking about the top three things that we recommend, and the easiest ways to be able to get to them. However, uh, if you have already been and you want to be able to find out a little bit more about what's new this year, uh, what the big highlights are, aside from just our recommendations, we do actually have one more special uh, thing that we are going to be able to have for you today, which is an exclusive interview with the man in charge of Fan Expo Dallas himself, Andrew Moyes. And before you uh, start getting into the comments, Yes, we're aware, and we even mention it during our interview with him, uh, to be able to pull off a convention the size of Fan Expo, uh, to the degree of quality that Fan Expo typically gives, it's not just any one person's 
uh, responsibility or success. There is an entire team of volunteers behind Fan Expo, and there's a whole team from uh, Fan Expo HQ up in Canada that comes to each region to be able to present the best possible convention experience for you, the convention goer. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the interview first uh, to be able to see what Andrew had to say uh, just earlier. And um, after that, we will go ahead and jump right on into our recommendations for what you need to go check out this weekend. So, without further ado, uh, the wonderful Andrew Moyes. Hey guys, this is Brad from Dallas Geek, and as promised, uh, the guy that we got on the here we go, screen next to me is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Andrew Moyes from uh, Fan Expo. Uh, and for all of you Dallas or North Texas uh, adjacent people uh, that are going to be coming to Fan Expo Dallas this weekend, this is the guy to thank for being able to bring back the biggest convention in the DFW Metroplex. So, Andrew, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Brad, for having me. And I'm certainly one of a very big team that is responsible for bringing the show back, and we couldn't be more excited. Absolutely. And I absolutely would be remiss if I did not point out that while it may be completely uh, the last thought on most attendees' minds to be able to get a convention like this, but especially uh, this year uh, to get up and going, uh, it does take a massive team behind you to be able to get every aspect just right. Um, I, I, I do have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed uh, with you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. I mean, look, as planners, we like to deal with a high level of certainty, as much certainty as, as possible. Uh, that's been in a little bit of short supply, but it's been such a shared experience. We've all been doing our part in the community, and, and we couldn't be more delighted that we're at the stage now where we can start to bring back a little bit of celebration that we've all missed. This is all about community. You know, we're talking to the fans today. This is all about bringing everyone together to celebrate their passions and it couldn't feel better to to be doing that again uh, this weekend down at the Cape Bailey Convention Center. Awesome. So uh, obviously, I uh, have to ask, uh, since everybody's uh, going to be wondering, uh, with this being the first convention back after taking last year off, for obvious reasons, uh, <laughs> what can people expect to be different about this year's convention than in years past? Yeah, well, I think things are going to look a little different. I'm sure people have been checking out the website of the, as they've been doing their planning, and they'll see that we have a, some guidelines in place to ensure that everyone can celebrate safely. Masks will be mandatory at, at our event this year. We're also asking people to wash their hands frequently um, to keep their distance where they can. And if you're not feeling 100% this year, we do ask you to stay home. I think we have a great sense of responsibility as a community. We are about looking after each other and lifting each other up as we celebrate our fandoms together and uh, I am confident that we'll see a really high rate of compliance because I think we collectively recognize that if we want to get together to discover celebrate and belong uh, to this great world of fandom that in this day and age we have to approach it with just a little bit more of that level of responsibility um, in order to celebrate safely absolutely and that I mean, for anybody that has seen our uh, live shows or in any of our other uh, shows where we've talked about uh, our thoughts and experiences at Fan Expo uh, or any other convention, that, that's one of the things that we always talk about is for a good convention experience uh, as an attendee, uh, it's just as much on each of us as an individual attendee as it is the convention uh, themselves to be able to help provide that uh, welcoming and comfortable environment. Um, so I'm kind of curious, uh, with the uh, mask requirement uh, at the convention this year, is that going to be something where disposable masks are going to be available uh, at the doors uh, for anybody that might have forgotten theirs, or how, how is that going to be addressed? 
Yeah, I mean, with mandatory masks, as again, we're, as planners, we're, we're, we're making sure we're ready for every possible circumstance. Obviously, we're going to see a lot of cosplayers that are incorporating their um, their approved mask into their costume. We've seen that at a number of shows, which has been fantastic. Uh, it must be an approved mask, obviously covering the nose and mouth. And we will have, of course, uh, some masks available should someone arrive and have forgotten to throw it in their bag or, or whatnot. So um, given that they're mandatory, we'll certainly certainly have uh, different avenues to to make sure that uh, people can approach and, and comply with that mandate. Fantastic. And as for the hand washing, are there going to be any uh, 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 hand sanitizer stations around the convention or is that going to just be on everybody to, you know, please try to remember to bring your own and uh, head to the bathroom frequently to use the uh, soap and water in there? Yeah, well, uh, look, the Kay Bailey Convention Center uh, is one of our key uh, partners, and we've been working with them to ensure that there are higher uh, uh, cleaning, uh, they'll have some higher cleaning protocols in place, and they will also have some uh, hand sanitizer stations, etc., available. Uh, but still, if you're anything like me, you'll always just have your own personal supply in your back pocket or in your backpack, um, just to make sure that when you're in a situation and it's not on hand, that you're prepared prepared yourself. Fantastic. So getting into what people can expect at the convention uh, as far as attractions, as far as points of interest, um, what would you say is going to be this year's big highlight that if nothing else, this is the one thing every attendee really should try to experience? Look, I think what we're what we've been missing is that sense of a collective celebration, and a, one way that we can really celebrate is to hit that floor and and build up and build on our pop culture collections. Everyone loves to shop when they come to Fan Expo Dallas. Whether you're a collector or if you're not a collector, you can always find something really unique um, from our retailers. We also have hundreds of artists, so um, you can get some original art. We have crafters in the artist alley as well. So everyone, if they come and they plan to shop, which most of our fans do when they come to Fan Expo Dallas, they'll be able to take away that little trophy that'll give them the bragging rights as they head back to school or head back into the office uh, to have that real unique one-of-a-kind item that's only available here at Fan Expo Dallas. Very nice. Uh, which, of course, speaking of uh, collectibles, I, I know uh, for most of your conventions, especially uh, the ones here in Dallas, there always seem to be some convention exclusive uh, pops or uh, statues or shirts or whatever. Um, would you have any of those con exclusive things you might be willing to tease for the audience about what they can uh, might be able to find? This yeah, look, I definitely recommend people head to fanexpodallas.com. We do have some of our merchandise up on the website there. We have a really awesome United by Fandom t-shirt. Uh, as I've spoken about earlier, this is really about bringing the community back together uh, as we've all done our part to, to be able to come back and celebrate safely. So we're really excited to have that theme, United by Fandom, as we truly think we are. Whether you're a fan of comics, whether you're a fan of sci-fi, there's really something for everyone at Fan Expo Dallas. So I think that theme of United by Fandom, which will be available on mugs and hats and t-shirts, will be a really great uh, piece for, for the fans to pick up to celebrate what is truly going to be an exceptional year. We have some great partners as well. DC Comics, I understand we have some exclusive comics with them too. So they're just a few of the things that I can tease out that will be available from the Fan Expo Dallas store. Uh, but, you know, that is just scratching the surface. All of our retailers and our artists have been working for months to bring really unique items to the show floor for the fans to, to grab and, as I say, have those bragging rights on those exclusive items. Very nice. Now, I, I actually uh, found it very interesting uh, this year looking over uh, the different guest lists and the different uh, things that are going to be happening uh, that I think this might be the first time uh, at least at, at uh, Expo that I uh, can recall that you actually have more voice actors than any other kind of guest that are showing up, which I think is amazing. Uh, I, I always love meeting uh, the voices behind some of my favorite characters. Um, 
So, uh, I mean, of course, getting Billy West and Kevin Conroy and Dante Bosco, uh, massive uh, things that I, I know uh, Mike and I are going to be just losing our minds uh, over when we're there uh, to try to uh, get in line for. But um, I, w was that a, uh, a conscious uh, choice to try to go after uh, more voice actors this year, or is that just kind of how it worked out? No, we're always listening to the fans. We're all always looking at the trends. Um, so we definitely see the popularity. It's skyrocketing. I mean, anime is itself, animation too, has just become such a huge fandom. Um, the other thing that is kind of exciting is that a lot of the voice actors are also local to Dallas. This is Fan Expo Dallas. This is the Dallas show. So we also want to highlight um, a lot of the uh, local heroes too. So if people didn't know, there is a high a high component uh, Component of voice actors that are actually uh, here locally. But regardless, I, I think we recognize, uh, as you've said, you're a fan and, and this is this is a vertical that has really started to resonate for you. And we, we recognize that for the fans. So we're bringing in some more of these voices um, so that the fans can meet their heroes. Very nice. And uh, of course, looking over the floor plan here, um, it, it does look like a, it, obviously a bit more of a condensed layout uh, compared to years past, but uh, I, I really appreciated that the grouping of where the rooms were in particular uh, made it a lot easier to be able to find uh, related topics, you know, uh, like the anime rooms are all next to each other and next to the viewing theater or uh, the... Um, uh, you had out uh, by the community zone, uh, you have all that next to the tattoo alley and then just outside the doors back in the main uh, hallway is the family zone. And it all kind of ties together in a very nice flow, uh, which uh, obviously for anybody that has not been to an expo before is going to be incredibly helpful to find what you're looking for. Um, yeah, we always work yeah. to make it as user friendly as possible. We do have the Fan Expo Dallas app that I strongly recommend everyone downloads uh, from the Apple Store or the Android Store. Uh, there's directions on how to do that on our website. We have actually been in this placement before for Fan Expo Dallas, so those people that have been attending for a number of years will remember when we've been over in this uh, different configuration. I actually really like this configuration. It gives us a really nice footprint for all the celebrities and photo ops, and then you walk up the stairs and you've got this awesome show floor um, to, to just explore for all of your shopping needs and then as you say a few of the theaters upstairs so i do like this configuration and we got a lot of positive feedback from the fans too on on this placement so we're excited to be back uh, back in this configuration again this year very nice and of course uh you, you did mention just now uh the fan expo app uh so I, I don't think enough people are aware of what that is or what it might be able to uh help them with uh during their convention experience so would you mind uh just taking a, a quick minute to explain what that app is and why they need to go ahead and go download it before they show up yeah, well, this is an exclusive Fan Expo Dallas app, and more and more I'm hearing from the fans at our events that this is really the uh, crucial to helping them organize their visit. It has a map on it. It has all of the vendors that are attending loaded up in there. It has all the celebrities, guests, um, all the comic all the guests, really, comic creators, cosplay guests, etc., cetera, um, listed there as well. Um, and the schedule too, which is just critical because there are so many hours of awesome programming. You really have to go through, I always say you've got to have a planning session for this event. You've got to sit down with a group of friends that you come to the show or the family, whoever your, your, your troop is that's coming down to the show and really identify those key things that you want to see because once you get here, there is so much to do that if you don't have a plan, you're going to miss things. Um, so I definitely recommend that the app is really that critical. It helps you create that critical path. So you have those benchmarks of things that you want to hit at the show throughout the day. Uh, but make sure you're you're leaving a little bit of time for those unexpected moments um, because uh, there's lots of those too. So you need a bit of breathing space in the schedule uh, to discover some new things as well. Well, fantastic. Uh, 
Andrew, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I know that Mike and I are both looking forward to checking it out this weekend. Uh, everybody at home, if you have not been before, but we're thinking about attending this year, sounds like it's going to be a very fun one to come check out. And if you have been before, uh, please feel free to come out uh, and have some fun. So once again, Andrew, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate your continued support and have a great weekend with us this weekend. All right, guys. So that was the one and only Andrew Moyes. Uh, and if you have seen some of our past interviews with him, uh, always a wonderful guy to talk to. And of course, uh, he always has some really great insights into what's going to be happening uh, this year that was not happening before uh, but of course uh, like I said before we always have our own opinions and preferences for what we will recommend if, especially if you are a first-time uh, attendee so uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it first off I do want to make a quick mention that the Fan Expo Dallas app that Andrew mentioned um, absolutely something that's worth uh, getting a hold of on your phone. The big thing that you have to remember going into the convention, like we mentioned in our uh, live show last week, is that if you want to be able to go and check out any panels, if you want to be able to go check out any uh, events happening during the show that happen at a specific time, it's going to be a lot easier to keep up with the schedule on the app than it will if you are trying to go onto your browser on your phone, go to the website, and then scroll down through and try to find what you're looking for. So definitely recommend that you go and get that on your phone before showing up. But let's go ahead and dive right into our recommendations for this weekend. So first and foremost, the con exclusives. So for anybody that is a collector, which I'm going to go ahead and guess if you're watching us, it's probably you. Uh, <laughs> as Andrew pointed out, uh, there are a lot of great con exclusives that you can get at Expo. And of course, you have your shirts, your lanyards, your mugs, your posters. Uh, that's all pretty standard fare. Uh, for your enamel pin collectors out there, you have exclusive pins for the show itself. But getting into the more fun uh, options here, you do have uh, an exclusive Aquaman statue uh, that I think looks pretty awesome. That would probably look pretty nice in our background uh, here in studio uh, if we can get a hold of one. Uh, you, of course, your My Hero Academia set is going to be always uh, a great recommendation. But then going down into some of the uh, more exclusive pieces down at the very bottom, I uh, always have to go in for the bombshell collectibles. So the regular bombshell collectibles, always awesome. Uh, Mike is a big fan of the bombshell series and of course now you have the little bombshells uh, that you can get a hold of as well so that is always going to be a fun addition to your collection um, but the thing that I think is going to be really important for everybody is knowing where everything is and specifically our favorite recommendation here because I mean we're a bit biased uh, but if you saw our previous show with Timmy Britt uh, the wonderful amazing uh, former Disney Imagineer former senior art director for Walt Disney World and Universal Studios Orlando the man responsible for the art design of the a lot of the Harry Potter world at Universal, as well as, of course, the primary influence for uh, the Hagrid portion of uh, that. Please forgive me for not remembering the full name of it, uh, all you Potterheads out there. Uh, I, I apologize. Uh, I'm slacking on the job, I know. Uh, but 
this is a man who is amazing, his art is wonderful, and of course, he himself is just uh, an amazing personality uh, to get to know. So, if you have not been able to meet him yet at one of his appearances at Madness Games and Comics up in Plano, Texas, you have the opportunity to be able to meet him this weekend at Fan Expo. Uh, all you have to do is just come into the main convention hall right here and go all the way up to booth 352. So this this uh, decent sized booth right before you get to Artist Alley. Uh, this is going to be where you can find Timmy, his art, and well let's face it, his personality because I, I'd say he needs at least this much space just to be able to fit all of the uh, amazing fun he brings to the table. So, <laughs> um, great guy. And of course, uh, if you have not uh, heard us just pouring over our love for his new book, uh, Extraordinary Everyday Magic, uh, absolutely worth it. I'm sure he's going to have at least a few copies at his table. Uh, it has hit us in the feels. Uh, it has destroyed me emotionally multiple times and then built me right back up. His story is amazing and if there, if you only have one booth that you can go check out this weekend, Timmy's right here is absolutely the one to go check out. Uh, but aside from that, uh, you can always go check out Art, all of Artist Alley. We will always recommend this as just a, uh, a, a option 2.2. Uh, if you know option 2.0 is Timmy, the rest of Artist Alley is what you need to go check out because you never know who's going to be here this year. But I can guarantee, if you are a nerd of any flavor, you will find something in Artist Alley that is going to pique your interest for just about any fandom out there uh, and in almost any style of art. Uh, so 100% recommend checking out all of the art uh, on display here. Uh, buy some, a lot of it, all of it, your call, but uh, definitely, definitely worth your time. And then of course, uh, the last thing that I'm going to have to recommend because, uh, once again, I'm biased, uh, is going to be your community zone. So for anybody that's been following us for a while, uh, we are obviously big fans of the cosplay community here in North Texas uh, and around the country. Um, and the community zone is where you're going to be able to check out all of the amazing cosplayers that are in attendance as well as the other artists who have provided some kind of support piece for the cosplay community whether that is a backdrop for your own photo shoots while you are at the convention uh, whether it is a full um, environment to be able to check out and get in the middle of, or if it, it happens to be one of the amazing vehicle replicas from one of your favorite movies, be it the Jeep from Jurassic Park to the Snowspeeder from Empire Strikes Back. Uh, you will find so many of those different options over here, uh, while just really having a, a blast. And of course, the Tattoo Alley uh, nestled right inside here. If you happen to be uh, more of a living art fan, we'll say, uh, this is some place you might want to go check out. Um, you can, uh, let's see, you can always go under the guests tab on the Fan Expo Dallas website, come over to Tattoo Artists, and be able to check out all of the tattoo artists who are going to be here. And if you click into any one of them, and I, I'm just gonna show my absolute bias here and pick up one of the Star Wars options, uh, you can click the tattoo artist, and from here you can go and check out 
uh, their websites, their social media, uh, and be able to see their full um, catalog of work before you get there. So you can go ahead and pre-plan uh, any appointments you want to make. And I will go ahead and just point out because uh, Mike has gotten a tattoo at Expo before. Um, I would highly, highly recommend if you intend to try to get a tattoo at Fan Expo, uh, go and sign up for that as early as you possibly can because spots for this with every artist fill up fast. So you do not want to miss out on your opportunity uh, to get that experience in. Um, but to go back to the other half of the community zone with the cosplayers. Uh, you can always come over to the guests and check out the featured cosplayers uh, who are going to have some amazing work. Uh, now, we have had the pleasure of being able to meet and interview Christina Dark before. She is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, somebody we would definitely recommend going to meet, but honestly, uh, any and every one of these featured cosplay guests every year, we love going to get to meet anybody that we don't already know and checking out their work because honestly, the, the talent uh, that you get to see from every one of them is just incredible. Um, 100% uh, enjoy all of our time that we get to spend over there. So go check it out and then of course uh, you can always go back under the uh, well under the floor plan uh, and check out the exhibitors list and under the exhibitors list you can get a little bit more information uh, with the community and cosplay to find out everybody that's going to be over in the community area. So there's going to be other cosplayers that uh, are in attendance in addition to the featured guests. This is going to be the people who are bringing uh, some cosplay props to check out, uh, to commission, to uh, you know the different backgrounds and environments to be able to go uh, get your pictures taken with. Every one of these uh, people, go, go check them out. Uh, and of course, if you are of the more uh, STEM uh, inclined, uh, and for those of you that do not know what STEM is, um, I mean, who, who am I, do I think I'm talking to? I'm guessing most of you watching are nerds right now, but uh, for the science, technology, and math uh, fans out there, the R2 Builders Club, this is a group that we go check out every time. They actually build full R2 units and other droids from Star Wars that are uh, fully functional. Uh, you get to see the full spectrum of everything uh, that they are capable of, which is impressive. So, 100% go check these guys out, but go, go see everybody over here. The Community Zone is, like I said, one of our absolute favorite parts of the convention but of course even better than that all of this happens to be right next to the food court and as we said last time uh, we went live do not forget please 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 don't forget to eat don't forget to drink keep your water on hand bring some with you buy some when you get there always always have water with you you can have soda, all the other stuff, sure. But don't forget to drink water. Absolutely. So the food court, that's going to be one of your best friends. And that's also where you're going to be able to check out uh, all the different food options outside of any additional uh, specialty things that might pop up over in the retail section from any, say, specialty chocolate, uh, you know, chocolatiers or any of the other... Uh, specialty options out on the main floor. So, absolutely, uh, go check it all out. Uh, this is going to be a wonderful time this weekend. We are looking forward to it. We really want to be able to meet as many of you this weekend as we can. Um, in fact, if you happen to see us roaming around with our 
cameras and our microphones and all the other stuff that we take with us to these things. Feel free to come say hi and uh, if you happen to see us uh, stopping to do interviews with any of y'all uh, who are uh, attending the convention, uh, absolutely come check us out and uh, say hi. We'll be happy to talk to you and uh, find out what your experience of the weekend has been like. And uh, maybe you'll get to see yourself on one of our next videos after the convention. So, um, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, those are our top three recommendations for what you absolutely need to check out this weekend. So, remember, number one, go check out the con exclusives. Um, for all the collectors out there, you're going to find something that's probably going to fit your collection. Number two, go check out Timmy Britt. Um, just go check him out. And, of course, while you're over there, check out the rest of Artist Alley because it's amazing. And number three, go check out the Community Zone and all of the amazing, wonderful cosplayers and cosplay uh, community members. Uh, whether they build, whether they take pictures, you know, uh, whether they do photos, whether they do videos, whether they do whatever, absolutely going to be one of hopefully one of your highlights of the entire convention because it's just the cosplay community once again is just such a wonderful wonderful group of people so with that guys thank you so much for joining us today and to uh in case you missed it at the beginning uh let's go ahead and get back into the necessary shilling for the show uh which is if you have not already, please do not forget to like and follow us over on Facebook. And if you're watching us on Facebook, that's pretty simple. Just go to the top of the page, uh, hit follow. And of course, don't forget to like the video because that helps to get this out to more people. And, you know, share it with your friends, your family, strangers on the street. We're not picky. We would love to be able to get more people into the conversation over on Facebook because we have some wonderful conversations with some great people in our community over there. And of course, uh, if you are watching on YouTube or uh, you prefer watching on YouTube, you can always check us out over there. Uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because as the YouTube algorithm tends to do, uh, just because we post a live show notification or we post a new video, that does not necessarily mean that every one of our subscribers is going to find out about it. So if you hit that notification bell and hit notify for all videos, you will absolutely be told when we upload, when we go live, and when we have something fun going on that you should probably go check out. And finally, uh, if you want to check out more of our content but don't always have time for the video, please don't forget you can get the audio of our live shows, interviews, and audio exclusive podcasts every Thursday uh, over on. Here we go Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcast, and Stitcher. There we go. Uh, because, you know, the internet's a thing, it's a wide and weird place, but it's wonderful and we have to be able to get you everywhere uh, you need uh, to be able to consume our content. So, uh, thank you so much for all of your time. We hope to be able to see you this weekend. And of course, uh, just to reiterate uh, the words of Andrew Moyes from earlier, please do not forget to bring a mask wear a mask, stay clean, uh, wash your hands, sanitizer, whatever, uh, and, you know, have fun. This is all about the community after all. So, uh, until next time, guys, I've been Brad, Mike is somewhere, you'll see him this weekend, and we are Dallas Geek, so, seriously, Thank you, and until next time, bye guys.